to your high school sports. I'm Roddy Woods, and Coach Whitten has joined us now. We're inside because it's raining like crazy outside. It's football weather. You got to play in the rain. Yeah, we you know we we usually go out in it for a little bit, but we got a lot of guys kind of banged up a little bit, and you know we want to keep our guys from you know not getting sick, and you know in the gym like we talked about before yeah. on other show, but it gives them a really chance to really work up a good tempo, sweat a lot. You know, and it gives you the chance to really fine tune some things. And for us this week, we got a short week. Um, you know, we've been physical last week. We had a wing T team, and so really gives us a chance to slow things down, work up a good sweat, work on the fundamentals, and you know, it doesn't really give you a chance to work a lot of things in space, but it really gives you a chance to focus on the little things. And for us, uh, short week. Quick preparation, um, you know, and in order to get everything in in a short week, you know, the little things is what's matter the most. Let's talk about last week. You know, you said in your comments just a second ago, wing T team, how did that affect your all your defense? Well, usually it takes a series or two to get adjusted to it. I thought that uh, you know, Chucky Doak did a good job in the first series. They moved the football around. You know, it gives you a chance to, you know, you got to take it some time to get your keys. I think once we got our keys and settled in, you know, we we did an unbelievable foot, uh, job. I thought the best part about our wing tee was we did a good job off the boot and waggle the pass plays off of it we, we sacked the quarterback many times we put them in uh, terrible situations and we just rallied around the football we, we continue to force turnovers uh, we got some good sacks and then you know when you go play a wing tee team the number one priority is you got to be a disciplined football team. And, you know, we continue to show signs of being a disciplined football team. You know, and, and that's what my next question was going to be. You know, when you play a team like that, like you said, you got to be disciplined. Does that help you down the road as you go into the playoffs? Well, you do. When you play good football teams, you know, uh, you know, you, you got to be disciplined. You got to play your alignment assignment. You got to play your technique. You know, one play is the difference. Um, you know, and, and when you get it gets crunch time right here. I mean, it's a game of inches, you know, being at the right place at the right time, you know, understanding my keys, you know, a backside player playing playing a reverse or a quarterback keeping out of the backfield. So I thought our guys did a really good job, just attention to detail, um, you know, week to week defensively. You know, you're playing a different team, you're playing a different group, different scheme. So I'm just really glad, uh, proud of the way our guys continue to adjust on defense. You know, the one thing about your football team, you guys have lost one game to to a real good 5A Saint, uh, Science Hill team, yeah. you know. So right now, I guess like you said, you're in here, you're fine-tuning things, you're just kind of just turning the screws a little bit because everything is pretty much clicking the way you want it. Well, isn't you, it? Know, when you, when you know you got a good football team when you're going out and executing, you're yes. jumping out on people early. You know, we talk to the guys about being focused, being prepared, you know, and, and when you are when you are prepared, you know, you jump out on people in the first quarter. And, and the, first, the last three weeks, the first quarter, we've really exploded on people. We've executed. We've looked sharp. We've looked crisp. Um, and really, you know, that's been the difference the last three weeks. You know, we've been we've been jumping on people and really putting the game away early. Then we can we can we can play our game, you know, and that's going to be critical for us. And um, you know, we still got some guys banged up. We got some guys fighting through some things, but that's part of this time of the year. Um, you know, you get bad weather, you get some tweaks, and you know, and guys banged up. But you know, we're fortunate that uh, the guys that have been out of the lineup. I've gotten back in. The guys that, that are in the lineup are fighting through it, and uh, just excited about the opportunity we have this week, you know, to, to close the season out. You know, nine straight games. Um, like you mentioned, you know, you know, the, the the game against Science Hill just really turned their season around, you know, and you know what the success that they've had and the speed and athleticism they have. You know, hopefully we can reflect back on that and say, hey, that's the best team that we're going to play. And you know, and what those guys, you know. What those guys, you know, a guy like Elijah Mathis, a guy like Justin Bedard, you know, those are elite status players that way, hey, say, hey, you know, this kid can't be, you know, you can do a lot of, you know, comparison of those guys. So um, uh, we're just excited about where we are. It's senior week. Um, you know, it, we're a short week, like we said, but a chance to be number one seed, yes. home field advantage, uh, you know, win the conference championship outright, you know. Yeah, you know, we're we're selfish when it comes to sharing trophies. Now we don't want to share that trophy with anybody. <laughs> so, uh, so there's a lot to play for this week. When we come back here on your high school sports, we're going to talk about they play Thursday night. They play against Northview, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the playoffs with Coach Witten. So make sure you stay right here on your high school sports. We'll be right back.
Ram Truck Month is going on now at Mullins Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Elizabethan. Drive a new 2015 Ram 1500 Crew Cab with the Hemi, stock number 420 for only $28,900. 2015 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Cummins Diesel, stock number 458, MSRP $51,950, your price only $41,500. Come see us at Mullins Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Highway 321 in Elizabethan or shop us online at MullinsCDJR.com. Before you buy, get Mullins a try. Let the Charlie Long Agency protect the place you call home. Serving the Carter County area with 25 years of excellent customer service. Call for the protection you need and the service you want. The Charlie Long Agency, representing Allstate, give us a call. Welcome back, and thank you for watching your high school sports. Coach Witten, let's talk about your Thursday night game against Northview. They are a new team. You know, they're TSSAA first year. Talk about Northview. Well, I tell you, you know, they've already got five wins for a team that's playing their first year. Uh, Coach Loveday does a good job. These kids are really offensively, you know, they, they've scored over 40 points quite a bit. Uh, they've pretty much been in every football game, and, you know, here they are. Uh, one game away with a chance to go to the playoffs. I mean, you're talking about setting your program up for the future. Yes. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better season. But, you know, if, if for them to go to the playoffs, that means they got to come in our place and beat us. So there's a lot at stake. But I tell you, just really proud of the Northview. Um, going to be a really good football program in two or three years. And for them to really build for the future, come and take something away from us and get a chance to play off. But, you know, it's just uh, it got a lot of great skill kids. Quarterback's a heck of a player. Um, you know, hopefully we can continue to uh, jump out on them. But, you know, just really like what you see with Northview. Just really impressed with, you know, a first-year program, um, how well they play, how hard they play, the way they execute. And uh, just it's just awesome to really, really see. You know, a couple things you hit on there about Northview. You know, we've had a chance to talk to Coach Loveday. They are a team that they, they respect everybody in their in their conference. And like you said, they're coming to your place. You have, they got a lot to play for, but you guys have a lot to play for too. It's senior night. You can wrap up the the regional championship. Plus, you got to set yourself up to play, get that first round by. Well, it does. I mean, we got to be mentally sharp. You know, get ourselves ready to go. And it's going to be a tough football game for us. And you know, each week, you know. You're going against a different scheme and a different guy. But I'm going to tell you, the thing that impressed me the most about Northview is how how unselfish and how well they play together. And a lot, of, I think a lot of those kids, it's the first time playing yes. together. You know, a lot of times that takes time, it takes continuity. Um, you know, it takes it takes time for your offense line, defense line, mess receivers to get on the same page. I tell you, it impresses me how well they throw the football. Um, you know, how well they they they're in a lot of football games and the guys compete really hard. So you know, as they got our attention. Um, you know, like you said, there's this big, big Thursday night football game. You know, we're, we're glad to be at home. We're glad to close this season out at senior night. You know, we got 10 great seniors that have played a lot of football games for us. And then, you know, we've talked about it on this show a number of times. Whenever you graduate 22 kids, uh, you, got, you got 10 kids coming back. You lose one of your seniors two weeks before the season starts. Where is the leadership going to come from? Where is the, um, you know, the experience going to come from? Where is the guy that's going to rally the young kids? And, you know, we're still a young football team at times. Uh, we make some useful mistakes, but just really impressed by the way our nine seniors have really rallied this football team and kind of take it, taken control of it. Coach, you know, the, with the win against Northview, you conf you clinched the region championship, but then you start thinking about playoffs. You know for sure you will have two games here at home. You know, th that number one seed helps you to do that. But do you think about that yet? Well, I mean, you know, obviously, it, it you know, winning uh, prepares for that, and that's some. It's one of our goals, and you know, we, you know, you definitely want to make the road a little bit easier for you, even though the playoffs are extremely tough. But you know, any time, especially this new stadium we have, you know, and the and the travel situations and the travel conditions are always tough. Getting on a bus, you know, stopping and eating, just getting out of your normal routine is always tough to play. And you know, we we we've got a great fan base, we got a great support. Um, you know, so we want to make this place as tough as it can be. And the other thing too is, you know, we're 4-0 at home this year, a new stadium. You know, we don't want Northview to come in here and take that. And then, uh, you know, the road's going to get tougher. You know, we understand that. And uh, we know we're going to be playing some good teams. And it's going to give us a really good chance to, you know, if we can get a big win Thursday night, 
to really get ourselves focused. You know, go, there's a lot of things you got to get prepared when the playoffs and being a young football team, we need that extra time to really solidify a lot of things. And But I'm proud of this football team. Like I said, um, they've done everything that, that we've asked them to do as coaches. Uh, they've stayed focused. They've stayed hungry. And I hopefully, hopefully we're not finished yet. All right. Coach Sean Witten talks about them not being finished yet. Get out, support the Cyclones this Thursday night as they take on a hungry Northview Cougars team. They play, remember, Thursday night, They'll be hoping at 7.30? Yes, sir. 7.30 game. Make sure you get out and support these Cyclones. We'll be right back to wrap things up. Talk about next week right here on Your High School Sports. One special day in your life you'll never forget. So let Venture Productions capture all those special moments at your wedding for you to treasure a lifetime. Our approach to videography is one of creativity and excellence. Call Venture Productions for your video services. It's the moment you've been waiting on your life. YourHighSchoolSports.com Carter County Player of the Week is brought to you by Brummett Sports Shop, located in beautiful, historic Elizabethton. Welcome back to this week's Your High School Sports. It's time now to give out our Carter County Player of the Week. Bart Lyons is here to help me to give out that award, sponsored in part by Brummett Sports Shop in Elizabethan. Who's our Player of the Week? Hey, Alonzo Mookie Madison from the Happy Valley Warriors. Great kid? Great kid. Had an opportunity to coach him when he was smaller. Had an opportunity to coach him in middle school. None better as far as hard work. This kid really, he really puts it on the line every practice. He plays hard. Mm -hmm. he, he practices hard. He's a great kid. Congratulations to Alonzo Mookie Madison. Alonzo Mookie Madison is our Carter County Player of the Week from Happy Valley, sponsored by Brummett Sports Shop right here in Elizabeth. We'll be right back here on Your High School Sports right after this. The YourHighSchoolSports.com Carter County Player of the Week is brought to you by Brummett Sports Shop, located in beautiful, historic Elizabethton. 